If you are in nursing school or about to start nursing school, then trust me, coming from a third and final year nursing student, you are going to need an armory of reliable and effective nursing school resources to help get you through your degree and to keep you engaged, motivated when studying and also helping you retain information and boosting your confidence. My weapon of choice for this challenge is Lecturia. If you're new here, hi, my name is Charlotte. I'm a third and final year nursing student at AUT and I've had nearly three years to trial and test different nursing school resources. So I have made a video about Lecturio on my channel in the past. It was a review of Lecturio where I went through all of its different features and why I like it so much and why I choose it as my top nursing school resource. So if you need a little bit of convincing as to why Lecturio is gold standard in my opinion for nursing school resources, then definitely check that out. But today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing with you step by step how I actually use Lecturio because there's just so many different ways that you can use it and the way that I have used it has resulted in me getting A grades throughout my degree as well as that little boost of confidence in my abilities and my knowledge. Before we get into everything don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff but for now let's just dive right in. So Lecturio is a subscription based website meaning that you pay money to access all of its features. You can have a free account but some of the features on Lecturio are uh, blocked. However, I do think that for the money it is a hundred percent worth it because as I've said in a couple of my videos before, Lecturio is the only nursing school resource that I've used long term that keeps me coming back to it, that keeps me engaged, and where I also feel noticeably feel a boost of confidence in my first off in my knowledge and also in my abilities. Last year, I don't know if you've seen some of my videos, I had a huge mental health spiral and I was feeling a lot of self-doubt and and it just wasn't a great time for me but Lecturio is one of the resources that I use to kind of get myself back on track and as I say I noticeably feel a difference in my mental health and in my confidence after I use it. Definitely worth the money, don't let the subscription part put you off if you're a little bit hesitant, definitely worth the money. So without further ado, how do I use Lecturio? So the main features that I use and that have been lifesavers for me are the video lectures the spaced repetition flashcards, the practice exams and the cheat sheets, and I'm also going to be talking about the study planner feature which I am going to be starting to use in preparation for the biggest exams in my life which are the New Zealand States exams. I'm sending them in November and so I will talk about the study planner with regards to that. So first things first are the video lectures. They are between one to ten minutes long. They're super comprehensive for the amount of time that they run for but they're also explained in such a way that doesn't leave you feeling overwhelmed, it leaves you actually retaining the information. Everything is very well explained. In this one we're going to look at coronary artery disease, atherosclerosis. Okay, that one's a mouthful, but I want to walk you through the simple steps of the changes that happen in someone's body with coronary artery disease. In the lectures they also have like a whiteboard projector thing behind the lecture which has the key points of information that you should remember as well as diagrams and images just to kind of help the information sink through. So the way that I use them specifically is if I'm studying for a specific topic such as when I had my acute nursing exams in May for example diabetic ketoacidosis was one of the case studies for that exam. On Lecturio I would search up diabetic ketoacidosis and just focus on watching the videos related to that topic. More commonly though when because I'm not always studying for exams and most of the time I use Lecturio as a revision tool so in these instances Instances, I will write on my to-do list, watch three to five lecture like, videos on this day and I will just pick any lecture like, video that seems interesting to me or that I feel like I need to brush up on my knowledge on and this is how it keeps me engaged because I'm picking videos and topics that I'm actually curious about and it makes me want to continue learning. While I am watching the videos I'll also have my Notion app or a Word document open as well and I'll just take some brief notes. I'll turn those notes into Anki flashcards so that I can review them with my spaced repetition. That's another way that I use the videos. When I'm watching the videos I also have the transcript open because if you're anything like me sometimes it's a bit helpful to also have the visual aid so that you can follow along with the speaker. This is another way that helps keep me engaged and focused. Finally one of the most important points of how I use the videos is specifically related to the pharmacology side of Lecturio. Because Lecturio is US based and I am out here in New Zealand we don't have the same 
same medications that they do. Pharmac out here in New Zealand doesn't stock the same things that the US does. Sometimes they're called different names. What I will do is when I'm looking at the pharmacology side of Lecturia, I will also have the New Zealand formulary pulled up on another tab just so that, you know, if I'm learning about the medication Lecturia, I can just double check that we actually have it in New Zealand so that I'm using my time efficiently and that I'm not learning about medications that aren't relevant to Aotearoa and our population. So that's the other thing that I do and that I recommend that you also do if you're not in the US. So that's how I resource the videos in a nutshell. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about is the spaced repetition on Lecturia. So at the end of the videos that you watch, every single video will have one to five practice questions which you quickly do before moving on to the next video and these questions get added to your spaced repetition deck on Lecturia so that you can continue reviewing them. So at the end of the videos I will quickly fill out the questions, submit them, they get added to my spaced repetition deck and then the way that I use the spaced repetition deck, I don't do it every single day but I do do them often, maybe every second or third day. If I haven't done them in a while and I've got like a lot of cards built up I will say get 50 spaced repetition cards done today. I'll add that on my to-do list and then I'll do 50 questions, cross it off and then I'll just leave it. If I've got less than 50 cards due then I'll just do the whole deck. If I've got hundreds of cards due then I'll just aim to get 50 done. That's how I use the spaced repetition feature. The next thing that I wanted to talk about was the practice exams. So if I'm studying for a specific topic, let's say diabetic ketoacidosis or if it's more general like cardiovascular, what I'll do is I'll set the electro settings on the practice exams to match the topics that I actually want to study. I'll make them 40 questions, like the maximum amount of questions I can have. And then at the end of the practice exam, you can see which questions you got incorrect. I do go for the ones that I didn't get right or were maybe a bit shaky on and it will come up with the answer as well as a little explanation. And it will also come up with a little button that can take you to the relevant video that explains that question. Once I've done the exam, I'll quickly read through the explanation of you know, why the answer was what it was. And that's how I use the practice exams. So the last main thing that I use on Lecturio is the cheat sheets. This is a relatively new feature. They don't have one for everything. However, they do have a whole damn lot of cheat sheets, which are fantastic. I use these for my exams and for my assessments because they are one page of information of everything, all of the main points that you need to know. And I use these, just quickly revise them, or if I'm not feeling particularly motivated to study, but I know I need to do stuff, I'll quickly read through them. And I find them really, really helpful because it means in an exam setting, even if I can't get an A plus answer using these cheat sheets, I can at least get something down and that's better than nothing at all. Having a vague idea of something is better than having no idea of something is my general philosophy towards studying. Do a little bit is better than doing nothing. So the cheat sheets are a really good way to fulfill this, if you will. That's why I use the cheat sheets. That's why I love them so much. So the last thing that I wanted to talk about regarding how I use the Cheerio is a feature that I'm going to start using and that is the study planner. This is a feature on Lecturio where you set your exam date and then you select the pathway that you want to revise and study for. So for me I will be studying the general surgical pathway so all of the anatomy, physiology, pathophysiology content is in that pathway. It gives you kind of a study plan, it makes one for you. It tells you in order to achieve this goal by this date you need to watch 19 minutes of lecture videos per day. I think the study plan is a really really good way to keep people on track and it's something that I'm very excited to start using. So that's how I'll be using the study planner. I'm going to try and stick to you know the study plan that it creates for me as much as possible. So I don't know how helpful that was. I hope it was helpful but that was today's video. A step-by-step -step look at how I use the main features of Lecturio to help me get good grades in nursing school as well as feel confident within myself and while I'm on placement. As I say, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Drop a comment telling me how you guys revise or how you guys use Lecturio if you do. I'm always interested into what other people are doing and how they succeed or how they revise. I'll see you next Monday with a new video, but until then, have a lovely day and a fabulous week. Bye! Extra, extra.